is John Birdall and I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use astigmatismfix.com to help solve the problem of residual refractive error after implanting toric IOLs. There's two ways to get to the website. The first is through the ASCRS website and if you go here to online tools, click down to the toric results analyzer, that will bring you uh, to the page after you accept the terms and conditions. Uh, an easier way to get there is just to type in uh, astigmatismfix.com and that will get you to the website too. Then as you're using the website, um, remember the goal of this website is if you have a patient that has residual astigmatism after having a toric lens placed, this website can help calculate the ideal position that that toric lens should be in and help you determine if you should rotate that IOL, exchange that IOL, or perform laser vision correction. So um, you can enter, uh, you enter your name, your email address, patient's name. The patient's name uh, is not recorded and no private health information is kept. Which eye you're talking about and the originally calculated IOL axis from um, whatever formula that you use to uh, calculate that originally whether it's the Acrosoft calculator or uh, the different calculators that are available. In this case we will choose um, 120 degrees. Enter the manifest refraction. This can now be in plus or minus cylinder and it will correct it for you. I'm just going to use the default that we have in here because I know it works well. Now here with the magnitude astigmatism you can enter any number that you want to in either this box here or in this box here and that's uh, particularly helpful for our international colleagues but if you're here in the United States uh, we have all of the uh, currently available toric lenses listed and notice that it's the cylinder power at the corneal plane not the power that the IOL says at the IOL plane so for example the SN6 AT9 has 6.0 diopters of power at the IOL plane but at the corneal plane it's only 4.11 and her, then you need to measure in the office what location the lens is currently at. There's a number of ways to do this, but the best way I find to do it is to use an app like Toric Pro um, or Axis Assistant. And then take a slit beam and place it on your slit lamp right on the dots of the astigmatism IOL. Pull your slit lamp backwards use your iPhone or smartphone uh, to measure the exact axis one with one of those apps and then enter the information here. It's also helpful to enter the uh, power of the IOL that you're using, the spherical power, so in this case we're going to say we used a 22 diopter lens that was a SN6 AT9. Agree to the terms and conditions and hit calculate. On this page, what you're going to see is here is the refraction uh, that you entered. Please note that this always outputs it in plus cylinder, so if you entered it in minus cylinder, um, it'll have the uh, plus cylinder notation here. Which torque lens you implanted in the axis? So I always like to verify that I entered the data properly in this place, in this case. Here it will calculate the ideal position of that toric lens, which is 122 degrees. You can see that what the calculator is suggesting is that rotating the IOL 14 degrees in the clockwise direction should change the refraction from a minus 1.00, minus 2.00 axis, axis 80 to minus 0 0.14 plus 0 0.28 axis 38. So rotating this high power toric lens just 14 degrees should make a very big difference in the patient's quality of vision and take their astigmatism from two diopters to nearly a quarter diopter. You can see this here on uh, this graph which shows how much astigmatism the patient would have with the lens in different axes and the baseline level of astigmatism of 3.84 
diopters, and by rotating it to the minimum of 122 degrees, you'll have less than a quarter diopter of astigmatism available, period. This tool has proven incredibly uh, useful to surgeons. We've had over 20,000 entries uh, over the last two years, and I hope it ends up being helpful to you. Thanks for listening.